the brain's the best tool that we bring out into the woods with us. It's pretty easy to take a look at terrain and go, ah, that's an avalanche path. Weather is pretty easy to recognize, but by far the most difficult thing to put a measurement on is how people react in, in avalanche terrain. It is often the person that's caught in the avalanche that triggered that avalanche. And it might also be their partner who is further up above or uh, in a position where they trigger an avalanche onto their climbing partners. I think the ideal group size is three, maybe four people. If you start getting into group sizes of seven, eight, nine, 10, 12 people, it becomes very difficult to manage that group size and it also becomes difficult to communicate. Certainly, avalanche equipment, safety equipment has improved through the years. This avalanche gear can certainly reduce your risk of getting killed in an avalanche. It can also lead you to take unnecessary risks because you think, well, all I need to do if I get caught in an avalanche, I have a Kevlar turtle shell on, I've got a helmet on, I've got a beacon, I've got shovels, probes, first aid kit, repair kits. I can pull the ripcord on my balloon bag and I'm gonna come out of this just fine. Unfortunately, that can get us into a world of hurt. The avalanche world is very complex and it's very easy to misjudge the snowpack, very easy to misjudge the terrain. Though the calendar says it's spring in March, up at 13,900 feet, it's still full on winter. It's not a consolidated spring snowpack yet. So that's another thing that gets people into trouble is we think, oh, the calendar says it's March 21st, it's the first day of spring, but baby, at, at 14,000 feet, it is nowhere close to spring. We are, in, in Western societies, somewhat goal-oriented, and, and in order to attain our goals, we'll look for reasons to attain those goals. And one of the goals that we may have is to climb this 14er this winter. So we'll look for signs of stability, you know, improving weather or a slope that's kind of a little bit over 30 degrees, but it's under 35 degrees in steepness, just to make my summit bit a little bit easier. That goal orientation can drive us to miss glaring signs of instability or potential problems. So I think it's very important to, to be able to make that decision to back off of a peak. Certainly, you know, these 14ers aren't going away anytime soon. I don't think that we need to be to the point that we're so focused on accomplishing something that, that we're gonna ignore or take excessive risks to gain that goal. So it's, it's very important to have the ability to say no, not today.